Hello everyone. Well, it's becoming very interesting. Iraq is coming in Saturday, February the 13th, 2021, CA6. And this rock I'm concerned about. I'm concerned about the debris field. And I'm going to take you to the jet propulsion and we're going to look at the orbit diagram but first we're going to go over it briefly and look at this rock that was just discovered not too long ago so we're going to start with spaceweather.com and go through some research dealing with this rock there's a family of them one came in today the 12th and then we have 18 fireballs coming in but this is what got my attention is it's coming in at 0 0.4 lunar distance that's approximately 110,000 miles from Earth it is 7 meters that means it's approximately 22 feet but what got my attention is the other one that's coming in tomorrow at 2.6 lunar distance it's about 30 feet, 9 meters. I'm not going to do a video on that because it's pretty good ways off. But, but the 12th, which is Friday, for 0 0.4 lunar distance, almost identical to this one. But it's only 3 meters, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not concerned. So let's check out what um, some other news agencies have for us okay so I'm going to take you to the watchers which is a very good website it concentrates on earth changes severe weather space weather space and so forth but it is a newly discovered asteroid 2021 CA6 will fly by the earth at a 0 0.43 lunar distance but what gets me about this, they just discovered it. And we're going to go through here. I'm not going to go through this diagram. I'm going to take you to Jet Propulsion Laboratories. So they're concentrating on anything that's one lunar distance for 2021. And here's a list of them that's already came in. I'm going to have the links in the description box. But... These came in in January. Some of them was reported and some was not. Some was reported the day it came in. This is a brief article that the Sky Live has put up. And will Asteroid 2021 CA6 impact the Earth? Question mark. No, it will not. Okay. And they're just basically stating about the information that the Jet Propulsion Laboratory has on it but it was newly discovered and we are going to go ahead and check out the diagram when you're on spaceweather.com just click on to the identification number and it will take you to the orbit diagram I use to fast forward a little bit go to one hour and then I hit full screen so I am concerned with this one because even though it's small chances are it's going to have some debris with it and just like 2018 VP1 that was approximately excuse me just for a minute okay here we go what I was saying with 2018 VP1 even though it was small only 9 feet it had a number of rocks coming in with it about 6 of them that week ok so let's blow this up and look at it very closely Now that's about right for a 0 0.4 lunar distance. Ok, 
Okay, so let's look at it from a different angle. And as you can see after that it goes away so let's look at it one more time this is from a different angle hopefully I did not interfere with the diagram So there you have it, it's coming in pretty close. But I believe we will be fine as long as it doesn't have a debris field with it. But I'm gonna be watching this every day because they are finding a number of them that are coming in. And they just discovered this one. Now I don't know if it is connected to the Apollos or not. It's newly discovered. That's about as close as it's going to get. And that's pretty close to 0 0.43 lunar distance. And it is coming from the bottom of the Earth. This is the plane right here. It's called the ecliptic. I'm going to bring this up. Now, as you can see, it's coming from the bottom. We'll run through it one more time. But they are starting to come in more and more, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm going to be, I'm going to have to check with the jet propulsion laboratories as well as other websites to find out what is going on and jet propulsion is pretty good at it but some of them are lacking I think what it is the information is just coming out and they just simply don't have it on their website But this one definitely caught my eye because there's three of them. And the one that's coming tomorrow was not very concerned. It was um, two lunar distance. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to see more and more rocks come in. I believe that was related to the Apollos. I didn't have enough time to do some 
research on it. I wanted to get this up, a premiere on Earth Changes channel. I wanted to get this up and get it over with. But if you look at this diagram, this was caught back in 2015 and it could very well possible that that rock came through the debris field and it may be the one that caused the problems that we are about to witness. So I'm very concerned because now they're coming in more and more frequently and I'm going to have to spend some time each morning looking at these websites and different ones and see who can give us the information before spaceweather.com I know they do the best they can but a lot of these rocks they found them in the middle of the night they may see them early in the morning and spaceweather.com they have their schedule people may not get in till 9 o'clock in the morning and then they put it up so I'm gonna be reviewing some websites and I will have the link in the description box for the websites that we looked at in this particular video. They are coming, ladies and gentlemen. I, I'm, I'm telling you, they're coming. And the Apollos normally start coming in about the 1st of March. And with a 30% increase, that may be your Apollo. I mean, this is going into the second week of February, so they may start coming in early this year, the Apollos. And then you remember what happened in March the 27th in Africa when that large asteroid impact there and it wasn't even on the news. So I am grateful for all of you to be here and to support Deep Truth, Deep Impact. You know, I don't know what to tell the majority over there at Earth Changes Channel. You know, I don't want to push these rocks on anyone, but we have to prepare and we have to think what is coming. Thank you all, everyone. God bless and stay strong and stay safe. Much love.